Well, uh, I'm a Yudoka, suspended for one year. Mm -hmm. Matt Barnes was here mm -hmm. on the day that he was going viral. Mm -hmm. Originally, Matt Barnes said the suspension was bullshit because uh, he was also comparing it to the son's owner getting suspended for a year and said, this is bullshit, this is unfair, I stand against it. And then after finding a little bit more information, he came back and said, my bad, I now know what actually happened. And um, I actually think that this is a fair suspension. Uh, my overall take was I spoke too soon but without knowing the facts. Mm. Um, you know, I thought, you know, my point of view was if this was a basic uh, situation where, you know, he had slept with someone in the organization, I thought it was a little harsh. You know what I mean? I thought like this is very common, not only in the NBA, but across all corporate businesses. And I thought a year for a suspension was a lot. But then after I made my post, someone literally called me right after maybe two minutes later and told me what happened. So I had to backpedal, man. Like I took down my post and today I came up and, and kind of just let people know like I, I misspoke, you know. What is your take on it? Um, we're going to have to wait on all the facts. From what I know, if what I know is true. Um, yeah, it's bogus. It's bogus. Um, yeah, it's bogus. There ain't no way around it. It's a bogus. It's bogus. You think it's bogus? For sure. Well, I know a few things about it, which I can't say yet because it's not public information. But it's not so much that he slept with an employee, but who he slept with and where That's they probably, were. Yeah, it must have been somebody, somebody Up high. girl. Yeah, somebody Up girl. High. Okay, get it. Somebody girl. He slept with somebody girl. Got it. Right. Oh, man. So. It's a TV show now. It is a TV show now. It's a TV show. I mean, I mean, for example, like, and I asked this to Matt Barnes, I also asked this to Nick Young, and they both said that, you know, early, you know, in the league, wasn't a big deal to sleep with a cheerleader or, you know, another female that worked for the for the team. A lot of teams just honestly just don't care. Uh, but in this case, they made a big deal out of it. I mean, when you were in the league initially, was that a big deal? Like, if you mess around with someone on the team, they make a big deal out of it, or was it kind of just? I don't know. I wasn't messing with people on the team. You were just focusing on on playing basketball, bro. I was man. We had a lockout. Um, man, they, they gave me. They finally gave me a, a check, and I could play basketball every day, bro. I wasn't really worried about talking to the girls that work for the team. That wasn't. Um, that wasn't it. Shit, I was chasing Tiana every time I saw her on the sideline. <laughs> I wasn't worried about the team. I think I was pretty focused on the game. 